Good morning, good evening, good day, whatever time it is for you guys. Um, I thought in honor of Halloween, I would read you some scary stories. And my first story is from Shay at Hobby Doc Bay. It's titled The Night Intruder. And it is, here's her story. She sent this in to me. Thank you, Shay, at Hobby Doc Bay. I really appreciate it. Gotta whip my whistle. Okay. This is her story, and it's a true story. It was my 14th birthday party, so myself and my friends had a pallet on the floor in the living room. I guess that's what you call it. It was a step-up floor. So when you walked into our house, turn left, walk down and step down into the dining room. A dining table was meant to sit there, but for now it was just an empty space. Off of the dining room to the left was a step down into the kitchen, referred to as a galleyway kitchen. At the end of the kitchen, a back door, there was a back door that led into a garage. A side door led outside from the garage. Mama always made sure the doors were locked. It was late at night and myself and my friends were lying on the floor in the dark. And as teenage girls do, we were telling ghost stories and scary stories. Suddenly, we all heard a creaking noise coming from the kitchen. The doorway between us and the kitchen did not have a door, so we could see clearly through the kitchen to the door that went into the garage. That door was slowly opening in the dark. All of us at once jumped up, grabbed our blankets and pillows, and ran to my bedroom and piled onto my bed. Needless to say, we didn't get much sleep that night. The next morning, my sister came into my room and asked what happened and why were all of us in my bed in my room? We told her what had happened, so we went out and checked the back door, but it was still securely locked, and we never were able to explain what happened. And that's the end of her story. Thank you, Shay. That was great. Thank you for sending that in. My second story, with Halloween quickly approaching, we lament the dearth of Las Vegas and their specific monsters. You know, monsters like the Yeti, the Chupacabra, the Jersey Devil, or other mythical creatures that haunt locales and whose stories are told around campfires and sleepovers. I present to you tonight a creepy story that was written by Karina O of Las Vegas, Nevada. And her story is entitled Angelica. Some of the best hotels in Las Vegas um, that we have ever known are long gone. Longtime residents and visitors can recall their favorite casinos, restaurants, and staff members. I've lived there 30 years and my favorite casino was the Silver Slipper. It was in operation from 1950 to 1988. My favorite waitress, named Angelica, worked in the coffee shop at the Slipper. Angelica was the nicest person you'd ever want to meet, always wearing a smile, never a frown. Work kept me away from the Slipper for about four months, so, but I managed to work my way back for a visit. I asked for Angelica, and the hostess looked at me curiously. 
The manager appeared and sat down in the booth. She had a perplexed look on her face. The manager said, Angelica died 15 years ago. She also told me that Angelica must have liked me as she has been still serving her favorite long after she left this world. And she swears that is a true story. So those are my two short stories for tonight. I will have another story waiting for you very shortly. And they're just going to get better and better. So please stay tuned. If you have a story that you would like me to read on my channel for in, in commemoration of Halloween, please send them to me. My P.O. Box address is in the description. I'd be more than happy to read them for you. So until next time, you guys all stay safe. Watch out for the ghouls and the vampires. Don't let them drink your blood. And we shall see you later. Bye-bye now.